I'm having some fun with ChatGPT's data analytics capabilities. Give me the statistics of each player on the Dallas Mavericks for the current season. Here are the statistics for each Dallas Mavericks player for the current 2023-24 NBA season. Averaging 16.6 points, 7.3 rebounds, and 1.8 assists per game. Asics Kleber averaging 4.4 points, 3.3 rebounds, and 1.6 assists per game. Create a table laying out these statistics. I've created a table with the statistics for each Dallas Mavericks player for the 2023-24 NBA season. Uh, you can view and analyze it as needed. Let me know if you need any further details. Create a stacked bar chart of the contribution of each player. Here's the stack bar chart showing the contributions of each Dallas Mavericks player for the 2023-24 season in terms of points, rebounds, and assists per game. This visual should give you a clear comparison of each player's contributions. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to explore. Um, you can check out the images in our conversation history. So now do the same process for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Here are the statistics for each Minnesota Timberwolves player for the current 2023-24 NBA season. Anthony Edwards, averaging 27.5 points, 6.2 assists, and 5.3 rebounds per game. Carl Anthony Towns, averaging 21.8 points, 8.4 rebounds, and 4.2 assists per game. Uh, averaging 13.5 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 1.3 assists per game. Next, I will create a table with these statistics. Uh, I've created a table with the statistics for each Minnesota Timberwolves player for the 2023-T24 season. Now, let's create a stacked bar chart to visualize the contributions of each player. Here's the stacked bar chart showing the contributions of each Minnesota Timberwolves player for the 2023-24 season in terms of points, rebounds, and assists per game. This visual provides a clear comparison of each player's contributions. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to explore, feel free to let me know. You can check out the images in our conversation history. So I'm looking at the distribution of the major contributors. And what I'm noting is that the Minnesota team seems to be more distributed it's not as reliant on just the core of the Dallas team, which really interesting observation. lies. Uh, it does seem like the Timberwolves have a more balanced contribution across their roster compared to some other teams. This can be advantageous as it means the team is less dependent on just a few players and can be more resilient to injuries or off nights from key players. Considering you as an expert better, which team would you bet on? When deciding which team to bet on, several factors should be considered beyond just individual player statistics. Here are a few key points to consider for the Mavericks and Timberwolves. One, team depth and balance. The Timberwolves have a more balanced contribution from multiple players, which can be advantageous for consistency and resilience. Uh, two, star power. The Mavericks have high impact players like Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving who can take over games, especially in crucial moments. Three, recent performance. Both teams have performed well this season, but understanding their recent form and any injuries is crucial. Uh, four, head-to-head -head matchups. Historical performance and head-to-head -head results can provide insights into which team might have an edge. Five, coaching and strategy. The coaching approach and tactical adaptability can influence game outcomes significantly. Given the balanced contribution from the Timberwolves, they might offer a safer bet for consistency. However, the star power of the Mavericks can't be ignored for their potential to win critical games. Um, if you're looking for consistency and depth, the Timberwolves might be the better bet. If you believe in the impact of star players during crucial moments, the Mavericks could be the choice. Ultimately, it depends on the specific context of the matchup, including recent form, injuries, and other factors. I am not a better. I'm just letting you know that. But I like the analysis of 
seeing how the reality and the image of it, the projection of it might differ. If you have any other teams or sports you'd like to analyze in a similar way, feel free to let me know. Thank you very much.